Hey guys, how do you do? Welcome to Fresh Young Programming Wizards TV. We are continuing with the Android a development series of tutorials that we had started earlier on. Today we are going to look at alarms. Alright, we are going to look at first the alarm manager class. Of course, you can use it in our application. So, this is what we are talking about. Uh, you can see we have a simple text box and a button. You come, enter the number of seconds right here that you want to alarm to go off. For instance, say I enter two seconds. Okay, I'm going to schedule my work, of course, to start after two seconds. So I come, click start alarm set to two seconds. Then, of course, after two seconds, alarm ringing right here. Okay, so in this case, we're just simulating doing of job right, of course, just by showing a toast message. Our work in this case is actually, of course, the showing of that particular toast message. Okay. So what about if we set our alarm, our work to be done after 5 seconds. We come, click start, okay, alarm set to 5 seconds. Then of course, after 5 seconds you can see alarm ringing. So this is showing of toast, in this case this is our work, right? Let's say I set my alarm to 10 seconds, right here. So my toast message is going to be shown at after 10 seconds read so this this in this case there's of course the work that you're scheduling the showing of that particular toast message i come click of course start then of course alarm set in 10 seconds that's of course my toast then of course after 10 seconds you can see alarm ringing right there read that's it guys this is of course uh, this is what we're going to look at so let's get started perfect so guys the first thing let's jump over to android studio here's my android studio right here so the first thing of course go ahead create your project okay once you've created your project and of course let's come first to a build or cradle of course at the module app uh, right here so as you can see we're not really importing we're not really adding any party library as a dependency instead we're simply adding the app compact uh v7 right and then the uh, design support libraries these are of course the libraries that we're going to be using of course the app compact uh right here we're going to use it to the main activity which is actually going to of course derive from the app compact activity okay so these are the support libraries that we are adding into our dependencies. Then of course once we have that one, if we come to our layouts, we have two layouts, activity main and so that's the content main, activity main right here, this of course is our template layout. You can see we have of course the app bar layout, the toolbar, the floating action button defined over right there. Then we're also including the content main, content main with layout. So inside the content main this is where of course we're going to be showing our of course views in this case our edit text and button okay our edit text right here where this is going to enter the number of seconds and still as the button right here the start button that's it guys that's it for our layouts then of course we come of course to our code we're going to have two classes of course main activity as well as my receiver so create a class called my what call it whatever you like i've called mine my receiver right here take note of course it's deriving from the broadcast receiver now guys we're going to use the alarm manager right here to use of course schedule our alarms okay of course alarm manager it was added in api level one okay by the android engineers it belongs of course to the java.lang.object and then of course it belongs to the android app package it's going to provide us of course to alarm services of course as you guys saw our application is actually just a simple a scheduler that just schedules of course the showing of our toast message so we're making use of alarm manager which of course is going to provide us access to alarms of course alarms they help us in scheduling of course of tasks that will be executed in future so first Let's go ahead, create this class called my receiver. It's going to derive from the broadcast receiver. Then we're going to need to override the on receive method right here. Okay, it's taking a context as well as an intent object. So 
whatever we do right here this is what we're going to do our tasks our task which we want okay the task that we want to be executed in the future when the alarm rings this is all going to define that particular task in this case it's simply showing over toast message right here this toast is going to get shown actually when the alarm rings so alarm ringing that's it this is the task otherwise of course if you had some more task you're going to define it right here, of course inside the on receive method okay so that it gets executed of course uh when we receive our broadcast right here so that's it that's it for more my receiver class then next you're going to move to our main activity we said it's an activity is going to derive from the app compact activity we're going to declare two widgets the start button as well as the time txt okay first we're going to call this method we're calling initialize view so here this is where we're going to of course initialize our edit text as well as our button then of course once the start button is clicked we're going to call the go method so what is this go method well this is where we're going to initialize and start our alarm so first we're defining an integer right here called time integer dot pass int time to exceed get text whatever this is going to enter into the text box of course we cast it to an integer right here okay we're going to cast it to an integer called time right here. of course you may want to you do this one of course in a try catch block this is just a basic example right here so that if somebody enter something that's not a number you can catch that particular error okay but for this our demo we are assuming that we're just going to enter of course just to shorten our code right here an integer then of course uh, we pass it okay the value entered we pass it of course uh, to an integer and then of course assign it to time that's the time right there then intent i we instantiate our intent passing in of course my receiver does class as well as uh, the, this object uh, this object which of course is our main activity then we come right here we're going to pass of course uh, come right here pending intent uh, pi equal to pending intent dot get broadcast we come over right here now of course we're passing in the context which is this then of course our private our request code right here of course intent object as well as the flag right here we're passing those as the parameters to our get broadcast method we come alarm manager equal to alarm manager now take note that with the alarm manager you cannot actually directly insert alarm manager okay you can't directly insert alarm manager if you want its instance we use uh, right here get system service context that get system service so let's come right here get system service then we pass in alarm service this is going to give us uh then of course we cast it to alarm manager right here we're going to get the alarm manager instance that we can use so we're going to set our one timer alarm so alarm manager dot set alarm manager dot rtc wake up system current time uh, milis to give us the current time in milliseconds okay then of course we're also going to pass in uh, our pending intent then we just say alarm setting just the time that the user has set the alarm all right that's it that's our go method it's actually i was going to start our alarm uh, manager so that's it of course we really call initialize views which is going to call the go method so guys that's it this is our um, class right here okay we're going to attach the source code of this particular project below so you guys uh, go download the source code and then of course import it to android studio take care i'll catch you in the next class